show you the compact full steam Neff oven. It is compact size as you can see. We do this equivalent oven in a full size oven as well. So the amazing thing about this oven is the fact that it still has all the oven functions um, that you can use. It has a grill. You can use it as Vario steam, the oven and steam together, but you can, which is amazing, you can turn the oven off and use it for pure steaming your foods, such as vegetables, rice, pasta, couscous and fish, and of course steamed puddings as well. So I'm going to show you two different dishes um, in the steam function, pure steam, um, using all the space in the compact by making a risotto and also some spiced pineapple. So the risotto I've already partly made and it saves standing over your hob, laid it in, in your hot stock. It saves so much more time just virtually making it and then just cooking it in the full steam. So I've got my rice, my softened onion and garlic, and some stock and some wine, my boreo rice and some mushrooms. And they go into the steam, I'm gonna pop those on the top. Below that, I've got some prepared pineapple. It's fresh pineapple with some rum, star anise, and some cinnamon sticks. That gives it a lovely flavor once it's steaming. So I'm gonna cook these together, but the pineapple only takes 12 minutes, and the risotto actually takes a little bit longer. That takes 25 minutes. So I'm gonna cook them together. So I'm just gonna shut the oven door. I'm just gonna turn the oven on. Now to find the steam function, you go into the house and you go to the right of the house and it's just pure steam. Press the next function, 100% steam needed to cook those two together. Press the go button and in order for the appliance to heat up, it just takes a couple of seconds, that noise of the steam to actually test for the steam. It will not start counting down on the timer until it reaches the 100% of steam mark. So you can set the timer now and I'm gonna set that for 12 minutes. It's preset at 20, um, but you can change that according to what recipe you're doing. So 12 minutes, I'm gonna press my little tick. It's full touch control again, the TFT touch screen. That's gonna now heat up along the screen there till it's completely red to 100%, and then that's gonna cook for 12 minutes together. I'm gonna to take the pineapple out and then I'm gonna to continue to cook the rice for at least another 15 minutes until it's tender. Once the rice and the risotto is cooked, that's at that point I then add the cream fresh and all the other ingredients like the parmesan and the fresh herbs afterwards. So you'll get a fantastic rice which I will show you at the end when it's all nice and moist and free flowing. When you purchase the compact full steam, you get some lovely steam trays. You get um, the solid tray, and you get the perforated one as well, as you can see there, the smaller ones. But you also get the larger one as well. So you get the large full that slides in on the rails and with the universal tray underneath it, you can use the perforated one to catch the drips underneath of all your larger portions of food to cook in the, in the full steam oven. So the pineapple is ready now, so I'm just going to take the pineapple out and show you how it's cooked lovely. The risotto is still cooking, so that will need a little bit longer. Lots of nice steam there. It's cool to the touch steam, so it won't burn you, um, but you get a nice facial at the same time. This is my pineapple, as you can see, the juices in the brown sugar is all dissolved, um, and the, the lovely um, cinnamon sticks of the star anise are in there as well. So the pineapple is just lightly softened in the steam um, and the, the syrup's thickened slightly so that pineapple is ready to serve now. If you're serving this with a meal you pop this in your warming drawer to wait for the risotto um, to finish. So I'm just going to pop that down there and then I'm going to go over here and then just close the oven and just continue with the cooking of the, of the risotto because that will take another 15 minutes until all the water and the stock's been absorbed into the rice and you've got a nice thick rice and risotto. So the risotto is ready now, so I'm just going to take it out of the compact steam oven. So, steam there. The, all you'll find that all the liquid has been absorbed um, into the rice and um, it's nice and free flowing. So I'm just going to mix in the rest of the ingredients now. See, it's all lovely and cooked. 
can see there, all the liquid's been absorbed into that lovely rice. And the ingredients I'm just going to add is some cream fresh, a couple of big dollops, two or three tablespoons of cream fresh to give that a really nice, rich, creamy texture. I'm going to add some fresh parmesan, which I've grated. That's about three to four tablespoons and some fresh chopped herbs. Um, I've got some fresh chopped parsley in there. You can see that as well. Don't forget to season. You need some nice seasoning in there. Give that a lovely flavour. Fish salt and pepper. And then you just mix it in. It. So it wasn't that easy risotto in the full steam. No standing over the hob, stirring and mixing and ladling in your stock. It's all done for you in two easy steps and then all the last ingredients are just added in at the end. So you've got a very easy risotto in the steam, the full steam, in 25 minutes. So there we go. There's beautiful, rich, creamy mushroom risotto.